Hello everyone, my name is Jia and I hope everyone is safe. Once again, thank you for making my last video viral again. 200 more subscribers in just two weeks. And I crossed 320 subscribers. Now, I love you all. Did you notice? From last few months, one word become very popular. And many of you use that word at least once a day. Yes, that is vaccine. From childhood, my parents took me many times to doctors for vaccination. For example, polio, hepatitis B, rotavirus, MMR. It's really painful for kids. Few vaccines like rotavirus, just once. While few vaccines like polio, multiple times we kids have to take. Have you ever noticed why we need vaccine? How vaccine help us and how vaccine is made? Today I am going to explain all these and I found it interesting for you. When I came to know all about vaccine. Before I explain all these, if you are new to my channel and not subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe my channel and like my video. First, let's talk about why we need vaccine. You know, we have immune system in our body. It defends our body if any outsider bad bacteria or virus attack us. If we get don't get vaccine, our body immune system don't know how to fight with outsider bad bacteria or virus if they attack us. For example, first, polio virus. It is very dangerous. If it attack us, it can be life threatening or it may impact our body parts paralyzed. Second, rotavirus. It cause us severe diarrhea. Third, measles. It cause us measles. When we get the vaccine, vaccine give training to our immune system. How to fight with these viruses? After taking vaccine, now suppose polio virus attack us. Our immune system is trained and know how to fight with this virus. So finally, our immune system defeat that virus and wins. So basically, vaccine train our body to fight with specific virus or bacteria so how vaccine is made and exactly how vaccine works in our body are you excited to know about it so here we go you know outside bacteria or virus are also called as pathogen just remember this word pathogen okay as we all already understood when pathogens attack our body, our body immune system start to fight with them. If these pathogens are very new to our immune system, our immune system may lose this fight with these pathogens because our immune system is not trained how to fight with them. And as a result, we may have many different diseases. So, to prevent this situation, vaccine is being developed. What vaccine does? Actually, I already told you earlier. Yes, vaccine train our immune system. How to fight with pathogens? You know, it seemed like our school test before our final exam. In test, we students get trained how to solve the questions. 
so in final exam we get same question we easily solve it but if any question comes out of syllabus we may fail okay so vaccine gives strength to our immune system but what is vaccine made of you will be surprised to know vaccine is made of the same pathogen really that virus which creates problem to us that will be in the vaccine and go to our body what is this hold on doctors and scientists are very intelligent who create vaccine actually either some specific small part of the virus or inactive virus are used in vaccine so now when this vaccine get injected to our body that means same virus is now in our body but it is not strong enough to create problem got it once this weak pathogen you remember pathogen means foreign virus or bacteria right so when this pathogen reach inside our body our active immune system tries to kill it most of the time since it's new pathogen for immune system it is unable to kill it then active immunity ask help from another immunity in our body called as adaptive immunity maybe adaptive immunity is friend of active immunity when this adaptive immunity get activated it generates antibody what is antibody antibody is a type of protein which get created after adaptive immunity so these antibody proteins are like a new soldier in our immune system who know how to kill these pathogen one more interesting thing you know there are some cells in our body called as b cell and t cell these cells help to develop antibody and they store it in their memory also that's why these cells are also called as memory cells so after taking vaccine now our immune system is more strong and confident to fight with that pathogen wow how interesting is our immune system so after vaccine what we have number 1 we have antibody our soldier who fight with pathogen so number 2 we have b cell and t cell as memory cell who remember these antibodies now suppose after some time really that virus attack to your body so your immune system first recognize that oh which virus it is it take the snapshot of that virus it send that virus detail to our memory cell that is b cell now memory cell check that details and say yes i know this virus we already have antibody our soldier who can find with this pathogen then memory cell find that antibodies and send to fight with this pathogen you noticed how these time our immune system was trained to fight with 
this virus so it kills the virus and we get saved we all have already taken vaccine for most of the known pathogens but corona virus is new our immune system don't know how to fight with this our immune system doesn't have any antibody to kill this corona virus anyway our scientists and doctors are already working on this vaccine for the corona virus i hope it comes soon we get the vaccine and we enjoy our life corona free even i want to go outside to make my outdoor videos i hope that day will come very soon so by the time be safe take care bye bye hi priya today i am discussing about vaccine do you know which was the first vaccine was developed hi jila i saw you explained very well actually the first vaccine discovered was the smallpox vaccine smallpox was a deadly illness it killed around 400 million people around the world in the 17th century after that vaccine was given to people the disease was finally erased you know it's the only disease which got destroyed completely the other one which is very close to it is polio thank you dear for your information